when I was talking about the inner city is covered or surrounded with the wall this is the exact wall so a whole inner inner city you will find this type of a wall in the surroundings this uh, behind this wall actually is just a metro system so you can get to the Ichari Shehar and and where we are at the moment is the inner city so there's a little cafe on the left side and again you can actually take uh, pictures with these hats this is actually from the wool so the ship wool and you can actually feel it it's real and also different type of uh, hats on the left side these ones are discounted it's a 50 uh, 0.5 Azerbaijanian manat and these ones are one manat and again little exotic shop here you have access to the some of the modern things with the uh, pictures and the prints but also access to the carpets and different wool stuff and also these are some really old items for household probably holding the candies here we have the teapot we have the samovar and this is where you would put the lots of cookies around it hello so, hello how are you can I see your shop? Take me over. Problem yokta. Teşekkürler. All right, we got the permission to go inside to check out the shop. We are getting welcomed with some different uh, kind of perfumes. You can actually buy a few milliliters and take home, and all the touristic items to take home. Hello, merhabalar. So. These are the type of items you can also find actually in Turkey and uh, this is more like a Turkish style I would say more Istanbulian but you will find lots of items that represented with the pomegranate and more pomegranate more pomegranate so no picture okay okay teşekkürler teşekkürler no picture this is uh, so pissing me off <laughs> but it's okay all right um, we have a structure in the middle of the park here and also cat is on top of it somehow and we are looking at uh, Ali Aga Wahid he was a poetrist and he was saying gazelles so master of gazelle and master of uh, poets Right, we are continuing this way and uh, you also have an option of course to stay in the inner city because there are lots of hotels in the surroundings you find lots of nice restaurants too I will be actually going for a restaurant hunt as well and this is the Shirvan Shah Sarai so this area is the Shirvan Shah Sarai this is actually a different kind of museum uh, after lunch we can possibly go inside and have a look but first now you have the views to the Shirvan Shah And inner city also have sometimes embassies here. So that's why you will see different flags. And in front of us, we have the Italian flag, which is beautiful. All right, we are on a hunt to get a lunch. And I already know one restaurant. So I will be specifically looking for that one. But uh, here, there's also a miniature book museum. So there are little books. You can actually have a look or purchase if you like but yeah it's a kind of museum so i don't think i have a permission to get there during the evening night i think it will be quite beautiful as well to walk around you can see the more uh, structures and buildings inside the shivan sarai which is a completely different than inner city so if you are coming to the inner city you have a uh, free access you can just come and walk around get the vibe of the city but if you are going to Shirvan Shah Sarai it's separate and last time I was there I was also in a school trip here normally from schools and universities they bring you to tell you more about the history and these are uh, some traditional cups that where the teas are getting served and they have whole structure maybe like six ten meters tall
I believe that will be the entrance to Shirvan Shah. Yeah, this is the entrance and it's uh, from 12th to 15th century. So quite, quite old. It's uh, 800 and plus years old. Uh, buildings that getting protected and also this uh, maiden tower Shivanshara Shivanshahlar Sarayı is also a uh, UNESCO protection area. Azerbaijan food. Nine is var. Azerbaijan. What do you have Azerbaijan food? Uh, Azerbaijan food uh, food. Uh, what is Azerbaijan food? Um, dolma, ash. Yes, dolma, shahplov, <laughs> xengel var. Teşekkürler. Sen adın nedi? Hüseyin. Hüseyin. Benim adım Davut. Şal oldu. Salam aleyküm. Nar soku var. Pomegranate juice. Ne çevirsiniz? How much is? 5 manat, bölge 8 manat. So the little one is 5 and big one 10. 10. Okay. Uh, how many milliliters? Oh. Ne çevir? Oh. Şey, 300 gram. 300. 300. Okay, balaza lütfen. Yes. Okay. So we are paying uh, 5 Azen to get a small pomegranate juice. He's blogger. Azen, YouTube. YouTube blogger. Uh, <laughs> send, send the blogger, sir. Okay. Send the inisa. Man, ishti. How how old are you? Uh, Onchi, uh huh. On dirt. Fourteen. Fourteen. He is fourteen years old. You don't go to school. Yes, school. School I get it, sir. Bu gün niye getmem sen? Sizin günleri. <gülüyor> İş günü değil mi? Evet. Merhaba prosta deyip çekerim. Ah, okay. So he's normally going to school but he doesn't go today because uh, because his uh, teacher said not to come today. Uh, Davut sonu değil mi? Davut Akunza'da. And the pomegranate juice is getting squeezed right here. So bu balazası da böyüğüne boyda olacak bir yani, şey stekan. Böyük balaza kurtarmıştım ben uzun bir. Ah, okay. So the big one doesn't exist. Ah, teşekkürler. Minnettarım. Özü göreceksen bir net hafta. <gülüyor> so the juice is getting squeezed. Ben turba tur hareketler ele bulamıştım. Siz seçip koyabilirsiniz. Ne ele bilersen? Salta vurabilirim. Ama bu boynumu kırma. <gülüyor> he can do Kendim seçin. He can do a backflip. But bir şey olsa menlik değil ha. Okay. I, I say I do, it's nothing about me if something happens. Woo! Geçen. <laughs> Maşallah. Yaxşısa. So he did a backflip just like casually for us while we are getting a pomegranate juice. How cool is that? And in a distance, a bit In a distance, we have the Shivan Shah Sarai right here. We have the television tower. We have the flames tower in a distance. So flames tower is actually quite accessible. You can see it from anywhere in the city center. So you will see that icon quite a lot and also the television tower if you are on the seaside okay uh borcumuz beş manat beş manat discount yoktu discount şey endirim endirimden beş manat ben böyle istasyon verdiniz ah minnettarım teşekkür ederim bunu zahmet olmasa koyardınız da içine benim elimde buldu minnettarım İsmail sen adın İsmail'di Hüseyin Hüseyin ben İsmail değilsen Saçlarım. Ha saçlısın. Benim kardeşim var burada değiştir. Şey, İsmail. Ha, o, o İsmail. Ben ismimse burada değiştiriyorum. Sen Hüseyin sen. Böyle. Your name is Hüseyin. Yes. Okay. Teşekkürler. Evet. Hüseyin. Bu sendi. 10 manat. Thank you. Teşekkürler. Sen salto vurmakla. Hala <gülüyor> <gülüyor> teşekkürler Minata. All right. I just uh, gave him a little tip for his performance for us. Uh, we have the pomegranate juice here guys. Hmm, not too sweet, but it's super fresh and it's not cold. Maybe they could put some uh, ice on it, but yeah, it's still nice. So let me show you a little bit surroundings again. As you can see, the wall continues all around the inner city and the restaurant we are looking for, I think should be somewhere on this direction. So we will go and get there slowly. Yeah, it's beautiful. You can find some cute places here. To get for lunch and dinner if you come late evening and also the whole inner city is quite walkable so there's kind of for example the car road here but there's also a little bit wider area 
you can chill and walk and take a little bit of relaxing time and then continue your journey all right i will enjoy my juice and uh, i will see you once we are arriving to the lunch place guys thank you very much for watching until this point and uh, we'll see you in a bit bye bye for now We are still continuing our journey to find the right place to have a lunch and uh, I would like to have something traditional obviously and when you are in the inner city you will find all the restaurants serving Azerbaijanian food so that's not gonna be surprising if you find uh, actually a real traditional way of uh, Azerbaijanian food getting served so there's a one restaurant but you will find very similar restaurants on this corner as well they do the traditional bread making and thank you can i see here so this is a this is called a tender bread so they're making a bread inside this old thing this whole thing is called actually tender in azerbaijanian so they put it on the wall and then take it out you all messes Salamlar, nezersiz? Çok sağ ol. İçinde çöreği var? Yok, İçinde yoktu. Okay. Teşekkürler. Çok sağ ol. <gülüyor> I was asking if there's a bread inside, but uh, I think they didn't they didn't have a bread inside, so because she just recently took it out. So you will find the uh, different restaurants here, but I found the uh, Gaynana, which is just in front of us being the probably a nicer experience but we're gonna check it out and see what comes out of it but there's a Sehirli Tandir Tandir is the thing you've seen Sehirli means uh, magical there's an old mangal mangal is where the meat is getting cooked and uh, funny enough Gainana means uh, mother-in-law that's the literal translation, Gainana, mother-in-law. So we're gonna go check out this one. It's called uh, Mili restaurant, which means a traditional restaurant. It's already welcoming us with a nice door. And let's see what we get out of it. Salam. Uh, is it okay if I film? Check my video, check my problem after. Problem after. Sakit ya mis var? Sakit ya, hala li. Here's the Gainana. This is the mother-in-law. It's a Azerbaijan Gainana. How is the Gainana? Okay, so this is a kind of like a little statue here. And uh, this is their kitchen area. That's where they make, make the bread. Tender take me over. Salam, yorulmiyasız. Yorulmiyasız salam. So they are making the traditional bread. So the whole thing is called tender, but that's also tender bread. Uh, thank you, teşekkürler. So there's, it's getting cooked with the gas right now and they put it on the wall. When it's ready, they just take it out and uh, they will serve it to us. And what do you have a chance for? Do you want to show me? Yes, And then, sorry. So this is a called traditional food, it's also called Gushpera and she's folding it one by one with her hands and as the end they, it becomes like this and afterwards they're just gonna boil it and then eat it. So we're gonna go inside which is gonna be more quiet I believe. Wow that's a, such a beautiful corner. We get welcomed with a pickle jars here and then nice beautiful wall with lots of books and uh, old traditional items so I believe this place would be the perfect spot for us to sit down maybe somewhere here and even the door to the kitchen is quite uh, traditional with the nice colors and there are some photos on the wall and these are the photos from the theater captures and then on the walls you can find different type of carpets and old items beautiful this is the place 
So I'm doing this. Right. I think I'm gonna ask what they serve the best uh, when it comes to traditional food. And then we're gonna eat. Spash bear of the Ramsay, I'm gonna tell myself. Yo, Susan, this is menu. Gerekli. Menü kalsın ama kalsın. siz memesler görürüz. Şey, Azerbaycan yemeklerine en yakışı ne yiyorsunuz? E, düzgün desem menümüz yumansı Azerbaycan yemeğine. Okay. But what, what, what, what, what, what you recommend? Suplardan ben bir yerdim mesela. Yok yeah, sup, super. Ha super var. Balaca böyle siz. Ha veririm. Okay. So they're gonna give us what we showed you. Dolma verebilirim. Çobab verebilirim size. Um, Plovunuz var? Var. Plov. Onda var. düşper olsun bir de plov. Okay, so they have a different type of. Ha, bu, bu ha, so you choose uh, basically the rice comes and then you can choose the top whatever you like. Siz hansı Okay, Tek yalnız ben. Propalim yoktu burada oturma. Yok. Okay. Alright. Just ordered. We are getting uh, what the lady was making with her hands. In the little piece is called dushpara. I will show you what's the final. It's more like a soup. But um, and ba they basically boil it. And then it becomes ready to eat. I will show you. And also we have the plov. Which is in Azerbaijanian we call it also ash. Uh, basically, it's a rice dish, rice-based dish, and on the top it can be different. And from the menu, you could actually choose four different things. We chose chestnuts uh, with pomegranate. It's a season for pomegranate, so we're gonna enjoy that with some meat, of course. In Azerbaijanian cuisine, there are so much meat, and every meal almost have a meat inside. So hardly you find spicy food, and hardly you find vegetarian dishes. There are a few, but not so many. Mostly it's meat, chicken, or uh, different type of a meat. But like different than Central Asia, we don't eat uh, horse meat at all. So it's chicken, um, it's beef, or uh, it's sheep, basically. So yeah. All right, once the food is here, I'm gonna show you the, our little table, and I will see you in a bit. So, minnettarım. Şey, düşbelerin eti ne ne olur? Malat. Okay, teşekkür ederim. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we do have the düşbere here, and uh, I don't know what would be exact translation for it, but I'm gonna show you you already seen the first version where the lady was wrapping it but this is the final version it uh, comes as a soup basically they put a little bit uh, herbs dry herbs and also fresh herbs on the top and then when you dig in a little bit you find the real dish paras inside so it's a dough outside and it's also meat it's a big meat uh, inside so it's gonna be quite easy process to eat and also it comes a little bit uh, we call this sirke so if you wanna change the taste a little bit not too much only a little bit you add not all of it for sure so it depends whatever is the right uh, test filters for you for your mouse then you just add it and if you don't like it you can add a little bit more but yeah this is uh, how the dish food itself looks like Normally, in the households, you would just have this and we can just eat it as a main meal. And that's how we normally do in, in our house as well. But uh, because I'm making videos, so we are getting a smaller version of Tushpara. Uh, as a starter, that would be our first meal. And then second meal will be the, the rice dish, which uh, I'm gonna show you after a few seconds, once we manage to test out our Tushpara. I hope you have a nice view. So this is our food. Let's try it out. First the water. Delicious. The spice level is perfect. And uh, it was just the water part. But also we have to try out the dish burn. It's really small so I cannot really show you how inside looks like. But it's basically meat, beef inside. And outside is the dough, it's mixed with the herbs from the water, and then just go for it. 
Delicious. Uh, these tushbaras are quite small in a size, but my mom would be doing a little bit bigger, a little bit, like 1.2 times bigger. But still, it's a perfect meal, especially during the winter when it's cold. You can have a hot soup. You get your carbs, you get your meat, and you get your also the water part, hot hot water, hot hot soup, and uh, your day is gonna be greater. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my dishpara and afterwards I will see you for the second meal, which is going to be plov ash. See you. Well, it's very crunchy outside. And then inside is basically the rice. Teşekkürler. Salam. Salam. Alright. Salam. Salam. Salam. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the main meal, which is called plov. In Azerbaijanian, we also call it shak plov, which uh, represents as a king plov, basically, or a king rice dish. Uh, that would be right translation for it. And basically, uh, this is a different presentation, but normally, this outside crunchy part would be at the bottom of the wherever they are cooking it. So it's basically lots of rice and that would be the base of it <clears throat> and then afterwards you can choose different toppings and this one is comes with chestnuts as you can see it's super well cooked and we also have the pomegranates because it's a season for it and of course the meat part meat is always mandatory to have in any other dish so all you need to do is grab a few drop it here Let's take some uh, chestnuts as well. As you can see, there are lots of onions on it too. Chestnuts, onions, some probably spices, herbs, and pomegranate pieces. Let's take uh, one more. Beautiful. And then afterwards, all you need to do is just mix it with your spoon and then with the onions and everything else and take a big bite. Since I've been traveling in South Asia mainly, um, we don't eat our main food, especially the rice with hands. In Sri Lanka, Pakistan, India, uh, Afghanistan as well, it's uh, super normal to have your rice dish with your hands. And as you know, I already know how to eat with my fingers, but Azerbaijanian food, the rice one, you don't eat with your hands. I mean, you can technically try, but especially in the restaurants, I think that wouldn't be the right way to eat the food. So all you need to do is just try to mix it with the meat you have. Let's take a, oops, let's take a little bit of the meat. And then right like this. Mix it and then big bite. Mm. It was a little bit too hot, but super delicious. And the chestnut has a little bit sweetness into it, so it makes your main part of the food a little bit sweet, but not too much sweet. And still onions, meat mixing up, so you have a great exposure of all different flavors. Beautiful. And uh, this one, at the end, you can just take it with your hand or with your spoon and then just bite it and eat it. So it's a little bit crunchy outside part. And uh, this type of main dish, you can also get some pickles. You can get fresh salad too. So this type of pickles, not the tomatoes, but cucumber would be the right one to eat all together. If you really like salty stuff like me, and that's a beautiful combination. And also it helps with the digestion. Amazing. I'm going to enjoy my food. And in a bit I will tell you how much we are paying and then we will leave from the place. See you in a bit. All 
right, our bill is here. As you expect, this is a very touristic place and literally the city center of the city, the inner city. And the prices are a little bit higher, particular. So, but still, I think quite reasonable if you are coming from outside. Of course, you can actually eat much cheaper. But we have the bill, which is basically 21 manat and uh, there's also already service charge into it so we paid two manat for the service uh, which is 10 percent and we also have 21.45 manat which comes at 12.62 dollars so approximately 13 american dollars you can have the full meal actually you can have for two people i think if you spend like 15 American dollars you can have two soups and one main meal because the main meal was quite large So yeah, 15 dollars two people. I didn't take any drinks. I didn't take any sides like salads or anything else I think approximately 15 to 20 dollars for two people you can easily eat and especially in the city center of the inner city So I already paid if you want to see Azerbaijanian manat, I will show you. These are the 50s. This is 15 manat. This is a 20 manat note. All of them has a Azerbaijanian map on it. Has a different colors, different items here. These are the fighting things. And uh, on this one, uh, kids are going to school. Some people go to work. There are some stairs and science stuff like uh, and then this is the number five bill again map on it and then this is the one manat and some musical instruments on, on it as well we have uh, three manat we're gonna give it to the cleaning lady i think she was here cleaning the place all the time so we pay her part too all right Service bill is already included, so I'm not gonna pay to the waitress, which is great. Minatarım, teşekkür ederim. Sağ olun, görüşürüz. Hanım, teşekkür ederim. Zemet olmaz, yok yok, zemet olmaz. Teşekkür ederim. Sağ olun, elalik. All right, we are gonna leave. As you can see, it's quite packed. So many people here. Çok teşekkürler, minatarım. Sağ olun, sağ olun. Ooh, as soon as you get out and when you are in Baku in Azerbaijan you can see actually lots of uh, Turkish flags as well along the next to Azerbaijanian flags right there so this maybe it's a sweet place Zafaran Merhaba. Merhaba. do you have some sweets Azerbaijanian sweets Azerbaijan Yo, Azerbaijan is a dollar problem yok Azerbaijan is a dollar but the other thing is a dollar Gel daha abi gel. yer var orada. Do you have, do you have Azerbaijanian sweets? Yes, of course. Şeker, bra, Where are you from? Azerbaijan. Really? Cannot speak Azerbaijan. Yeah, I can speak, but my audience don't speak Azerbaijanian. Okay, no problem. You live in where? I live uh, everywhere. My home is the world. Right? World. Merhaba. Salam. Question. So, Turkish baklavas. Yes. Oh, this is the this is a Azerbaijanian baklava, guys. Yeah, yeah. And this one, this one is a walnuts. Yeah. And then these are almonds, and this and one's man. normal nuts. Men zemet olmasa bir dene bu baklavadan. Şeker bra yoktu. Şeker bra. You don't have şeker bra. Şeker bra is actually a different type of a sweet. But these baklavas are Turkish, so we are not going for it. But one piece, yeah. one piece, and then one piece. Burda yeriniz var oturma. Burda, yukarıda. Burda yok. Ha burda. Okay. Bayırda. Bayırda. Bayırda harda de. We can sit. Burası sizin de. Or a restaurant. So this is a restaurant. We cannot sit there. Okay, I will sit here. Okay, you can sit here, you can yes? sit here, you can okay. follow the people from okay. all around the world from there, you know. Wow, look at this, nice weather, so many people. people and this is the restaurant where we were, Gainana. Gainana, very good. Yeah, mother in law. Datu yemeler var. And Zafaran is the best. Zafaran. Yeah. So only sweet, yukarısı? Restaurant. Sizin değil? 
No, it's not gonna class. Okay. So there's also a little balcony there. I, I was hoping I sit there, but they don't have a seat upstairs. So Zafaran bu Azerbaijan brand, eh? Okay. So this is a in English would be Safran, that's the name, and Zafaran in Azerbaijanian, that's uh, their own brand, Azerbaijanian. Mahmoud Baba, Mr. Mahmoud. Yeah. Mahmoud Baba, Chinese yok tu. Zahmet olmasa. Bardot, some problem yok tu. Orada. Yerde. Garanlıktı bura. Okay. Ne dedi? Ağzını tapabilmedi. I think he just insulted me. He said like you cannot find your mouse. O ne ne mana ya ağzı ağzını tapabilmedi. Yok, biz sizi karanlıkta diye gidiyor yani gör. Aa, oldu? 4 ma. 4 ma, kalsın 5 ma. 1 ma'ta siz çay içersiniz. Sağ ol. Öz sayımızdan. All right, we have the tea guys. This is a traditional way for the tea to get served in a little beautiful cups and we also have the baklava yes. this is making from honey honey it's not the sugar inside yet this ah, is not sugar making, honey yeah yeah with honey okay. yeah, that's why very tasty, so the yeah. walnut one inside is walnut yeah yeah this and the is, almond yeah. one is almond yeah yeah this so inside, yeah. as you can see the different colors the inside, yeah. almond is white so inside is a little bit whiter and then the Walnut one is darker, as you can see. So we're gonna start. Yeah, have a nice meal. Teşekkürler. Sen adın ne de? What's your name? My name is Ismail. Ismail, Ismail. where did you yeah. learn from? Yeah. Where, where did you learn English? I learned English because I crazy fan Michael Jackson. That's why I learned. Sorry? I crazy fan Michael Jackson. That's why I learned English. I don't understand. What did you say? I crazy fan Michael Jackson. This I'd Michael yeah. Jackson. Yeah, this was inspiration okay. for me when I was very six years old. I wrote his song. Yeah. That's why I tell that if I love Michael, I have to learn English, you know? Wow. That's why I, I can speak Arabic very good. Also. Oh, nice. Yeah. And how did you get into tourism? Yeah, but uh, because I'm my profession is translator, you know, tourism. I oh, nice. University. You live here? Yeah. In our city? Yeah, yeah. In Sarsharda? No, no, I'm not living here, but I'm working here in more 10 years. Nice. I live in Narmanov. It's Narmanov. Far away okay. from here. It's Narmanov is another district yeah, in, in Baku. Six. Okay. Six, six, ah, six kilometer, yeah. yeah six kilometer. Okay, this is how the baklava looks like, guys. This is a traditional dessert, and you will find it mostly during the Novorus. Novorus is kind of like an Easter of um, Persian cultures. Azerbaijan, Iran celebrates it, um, and Central Asia as well. So we would be cooking this. Yeah. And also in the weddings, sometimes in a like important celebrations yeah, you can have yeah, baklava shaker bula yeah. shaker bula is a different one but i don't see it here so i will show you next yeah. video there is something inside including sugar with uh, nuts small nuts they are making at home because before is you have lots of tradition but now is everything is you know yeah. forget and the tourists buy this uh, Turkish baklava yeah, too? All of them, no. Mostly they buy it from Azerbaijan. Ah, buy from. Uh, more but you, you tell them that this is um, yeah. Turkish and yeah, this is yeah, Azerbaijan? Yeah. But they also know that because okay. many people tourists visiting Turkey, you know. They ah, yeah, yeah, they already see it. And yeah. I see also Şeki Halvası. Let's uh, have a look at this. Oh, yeah, box So this is a, another type of a sweet coming from Şeki. Şeki is actually city uh, in the little bit north part of Azerbaijan and this is a completely different test but lots of sugar lots of calories Azerbaijan is a calorie and uh, everything is lots of calories lots of sugar lots yeah. of nuts Shafran also number one all around world you know Azerbaijan yeah Azerbaijan and yeah, yeah. yeah, so this one is original yes of course original, this is original or chemical yeah. no you Azerbaijan know, sir, you prom <laughs> I promise you this okay is and how much is the saffron? One gram is ten manat. Ten manat? Yeah, one gram, yeah. Okay, so... This is original, you know. I can give you one gram three but this is not... This is nothing, you know, but this is Azerbaijan tradition. Wow. Yeah. Smells great? Yeah, unbelievable. Mm, nice. Because this is original, but this one... Ah, uh, this is fake? <laughs> yeah. Ah, this, you, yeah. Can, you can see the color difference, yes, of it's course. crazy. So, what yeah. do you do? Uh, well, nothing. This is nothing. <laughs> nothing. Oh wow! This Look at this. How they are. Number. Ragan Wahed is a number. So how, how much would that cost? Like, is this hundred gram? Twenty gram, da? Twenty 
50 yeah. manat. Yeah. Five grams. Ah, okay. So yeah. this is a five grams, and it would be like five, fifty zero, yeah. Azerbaijanian manat. The honey came from mountains, also I will explain for you after. From mountains. Yeah, this honey and ah, honey. Jabal is mountain honey and forest honey. You can see the lot of nice. work. And this is very healthy for your liver. This is very healthy for your heart because this is original of the beer. And uh, which part of Azerbaijan come from? In the north, Gabele? south, yeah, in the Kuba, Kuba Gabele, Jadaba, you can Shaki, Lancharan, yeah. Okay. This is also. Ah, okay. See. They have oh, the okay. they have the brand here, Safran yeah. One Three Three. Yeah, yeah. So right. that's how they find you, Inner City One Three Three. Yeah, because it's the uh, owner put like that. Ah, uh, maybe it's the name of the yeah, street yeah, or yeah, something. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, okay. Something. And then of course the tea, so Azerbaijanian tea. Lankaran, south of Azerbaijan. Uh, nice. Yeah, it's the border. So the southern part, Lankaran area, is very okay. famous for the tea. Yeah. And if you're looking for Azerbaijanian tea, look for Lankaran tea. That would be the yeah. best test. Teşekkürler, minnettara, zamanıza göre. Alright guys, you know the shop name. It's just in front of the Gaynana. And no, no, no, I come back. I finish the video, come back and drink. <laughs> so I will finish the tea and have some desserts. And we are heading out. Alright guys, we'll see you in the next Baku video.